Hello, tutors. We do tutor training with you at various times throughout the year and try to prepare you for as many of the different scenarios that you encounter as you tutor students in our labs and individually. However, we also do find that there's lots of different scenarios and lots of different students. And so you learn a lot by just tutoring on the job. So as our seniors are graduating soon, we wanted to catch each one and try to glean from them some tips and wisdom to pass on to you. So enjoy these clips from our seniors as they share their tips and wisdom. Some things that I've learned that have strengthened my tutoring skills have been to give the student more space to think, to let them sort of struggle with an idea that I've presented in front of them, to not feel like I have to fill all the empty space. To be really patient with students, to um, try and meet them where they're at coming in, and take the time to just listen to see what they need and try and perceive that. I have um, just really thought about the resources that I have and thought about how I was learning it as a student and what is going to help the student that student that I'm tutoring the most and um, trying to cater what I'm doing specifically to their needs or that group their needs um, specifically just like reaching out to other tutors or professors or making sure you know what's available to you to help you be the best knowledge base that you can and then um, knowing how to explain that to others is just it just comes with practice I think. Be aware of what the students need from you some students come they just need a place to study and you can kind of let them let them be some students um, might just need help getting started on a problem they might just need a reminder and then they can kind of go from there some will really need help walking through the entire thing some students they just need you to refer them to their notes you might think that they maybe would have checked their notes or the textbook before coming for help but really sometimes all you need to say is like oh, is this in your notes? And then they see that equation they were looking for, and then they're good from there. So if you ask students really what they're here for and what they need from you, that'll make your help go a lot smoother. Probably the biggest thing that I learned and strengthened over my time as a tutor is definitely balancing a room and making sure that um, everyone gets help and that everyone who comes in will get the right amount of tutoring. In Math Lab, I've learned how to be patient as a tutor and I've learned how to um, really come at it from their perspective and try and look at, okay, what do they know, what do they don't know, or what do they not know, and what can I, um, how can I help them get to the next step? I think my tutoring was the most successful when I was, or I came alongside the people more as a friend and someone their age and just I'm like there with them rather than above them and I actually was able to make a lot of friends in math lab and I found that to be very successful to just be like I like I'm here for you but I'm also like not trying to be above you I'm just like we're gonna go through this together and I think that was where I was most successful was just kind of being their friend first and then their tutor second because then I was able to create a relationship with them and have them feel comfortable around me. Also I think to um, guide them by having them look at their notes a lot or look back at their materials from the class. Um, using resources a lot is really helpful and definitely working in math lab um, got a lot of practice with having students look back at their resources, um, look at their textbook, use that as a tool. When you see a question immediately stepping back and saying like what do I actually know about this question as a whole? Because people, different people are solving the questions different ways. So if you just go and immediately say like, this is what I would do, you often get into this weird place where it's like they have this one way of thinking about it and then you're stuck in your own way of thinking about it. And you never like, you end up just saying, do it my way and then they don't learn. So I think the best way is to say like, step back and think about what you know, but also think like, how would what are some different ways of doing it and saying like this is what they've started out doing this is some of the different ways they could like keep doing it and so that you're not stuck in your own path and you can actually help them learn coming prepared it helps a lot um, just knowing what the students are working on and how what questions what are some questions they would have 
on some of the projects. To pool my resources, to really work together with um, other students who have already solved the problems and other tutors who might know more about the specific subject or just other tutors that have an input to help teach the, teach the problem. To really put myself in the side that 2D, the person I'm tutoring, shoes and try to think of what they're going through um, while helping them. Um, obviously when you're tutoring, a lot of it is the actual tutoring aspect and just learning to enhance that, um, the skill and that really um, I think benefits both me and the person I'm tutoring in the sense that um, they get more out of it, they are able to understand the concepts better and I learn how to actually convey those and illustrate those concepts better to them. I'd say one of the most important things is to be prepared. Uh, oftentimes students won't have questions right away but you can see what they're working on and sort of peek at the answer key, get an idea of what they're working on, see how you could help if they do have questions. So yeah, not waiting until they have a question to pre start preparing for the eventual questions they might have. I'm a teacher so we learn a lot about how to learn um, and one of the biggest things is, is kind of deconstructing the question, breaking it down for the students, kind of what they know. Um, I just want to go figure out what skills they know and try to work it down to that and get it to a place where I can kind of scaffold it up, build it up until they really understand the question and the topic. Something I'd wish I'd known as a new tutor is to really utilize the entire team that's there. A lot of people um, have different strengths in different courses. If you're having trouble with a student with a specific problem, someone else might have already gone through that entire problem themselves. And then so you can maybe trade with them and they could do that one and you can do another problem. The teams are usually have a really, really great set of tutors. So just be aware of that and use everyone to help you out. I wish, I guess, if I was a new tutor, if I told my old self, uh, I'd be more, I guess kind of cliche, but more open to tutoring. Um, not being afraid to really just put myself out there, try to really understand what the question is what they're trying to figure out and not try to, I guess, hold back, not try to just, I guess, kind of based off the old question too, not to just basically put myself in their shoes to uh, be willing to know what I can and cannot do and just be willing to know what they need. And if I need to pull on another tutor to help me, if I need to look at the answer key and try to help myself, just be willing to take that step and realize what I do and do not know, I guess would be what I would say to my, to my old self. I wish I would have known how to take best advantage of all the resources that I had. Um, using the other tutors, using the answer keys and the resources um, that were given to me. The importance of grouping students from the same classes together. I found there were more than a few times where students would be asking the same questions and I could have easily, an easily answer the questions quicker had they all been together. My team is really there for you. Um, it's not, even though tutoring is kind of an independent thing, they are so supportive and you can ask any member questions. You can totally be like, I am out, I don't understand. And it's just not, it's no big deal for somebody to just come and take over. To relax a little bit more. Um, I feel like uh, when I started tutoring, I was a little stressed out about, you know, if you have the right answer or, or if you're doing the, uh, the problem the right way, but um, I think uh, you get in there, you uh, figure it out as you go, and if you don't know what you're doing, you ask for help from other tutors. I wish that I had known that it was okay to get help from the older tutors, and you know, I wish I had known that I didn't have to know absolutely everything, and that if I was struggling with something, I could just call a more experienced tutor over to help. I think as a new tutor, I wish I had known right away how helpful the other tutors in the lab can be and how important it is to use the other tutors as a resource and use the professors as a resource. After tutoring for a couple semesters, I definitely found that most of the professors will check their emails regularly, even during lab hours. So using them as resources and using the other tutors, it's totally okay to not know the answer to a question or not remember a specific topic. but using the people around you as resources is helpful. I wish I had known it was okay to get stuff wrong. Um, it was okay to not know and it was okay to ask the other tutors a question and to be unsure and to just go through and look at the book and just be comfortable with um, having a moment of thinking through something before I tried to explain it and just Maybe it's something that you, not, you don't necessarily know, but um, something that you 
begin to be comfortable with that as a new tutor I didn't have yet. Um, just not knowing right away and having that comfortable comfortability to um, take a moment, pause, think about it, and then show that student your thought process as you go through it. I wish I would have thought about how much students actually do know. So if you're a little confused about a problem, they actually, like if you ask them some leading questions, they can probably actually like help you figure out the answer. So if you don't think like I have to know all the, um, all the complete way to do this problem, but you say, this is how I know how to start out, this is stuff that they should already know, and some, ask them some questions to say like, how do you do this thing? Or what have you learned about this? Or what's the way the professor has taught you to do this? And then you can say like, you can learn really along with them, even though you've got some more knowledge than they do, but they've got some more previous knowledge than you have, so you can kind of work together to solve problems rather than thinking you just have to solve the problem yourself. Check with other tutors and like bounce questions off them and say, you know, I don't get this. I don't understand this. Can you, or like, my explanation isn't making sense to them, so is there something you can do to help me? So just ask, asking questions of my peers on how to tutor more effectively. Another thing I wish I would have known is that I, you don't have to know everything as a tutor. Um, in fact, I, some, some nights I walk away from a math lab session thinking that I learned more than I taught, and that's okay. You don't have to know everything. My biggest tip for current tutors is to be yourself and um, be open. Um, it helps the student become more comfortable and to know that you have some questions as well that you need answers to as well. Just to make sure that every student who comes in feels very welcome and that everyone receives the amount of help and tutoring that they need. Just remember that we're not above these people that are coming in from Math Lab um, and we're, you know, we're all we're all students, we all need help in different areas, so just because we're helping people doesn't make us any better, but um, we're all in this together. Be aware of what's going on in the different classes, um, so what unit they're on, what they're working on right now, what might be giving students trouble that they might be coming in for, that'll help you as people come in be um, kind of on the same page as them. Because some students don't realize that you aren't in the class and you aren't totally aware of what's going on, so they might just come in and say, oh, I'm on problem 27, and they'll expect you to know what that means. So staying up to date on what they're doing in the class could be a big help. I think being confident in your own knowledge. Um, you're a tutor for a reason. You really do know what you're doing. It might be some knowledge that you have to um, like think about, and it might be a while since you took the class, but you do know what you're doing. And I'll sometimes where I'll look at a problem and be like, I have no idea <laughs> what in the world this is. But really, I've done it all before. I obviously did well enough in the class to be a tutor, so I just have to stop and think um, and be confident that you know what you're doing and that you're smart enough to solve problems even if you have to say, let's go look in the book or let's go look at your notes, but you do know how to solve these problems. Spend that spare time that you have, because there'll always be a little bit of downtime, kind of looking at the material that some of the classes are on and looking ahead, because there's um, absolutely no problem with studying more. It's really good for you just really put yourself out there, not being a kind of reserved, really trying to put yourself in their shoes, just kind of, I guess, maybe being engaged is a good term, um, not just making it a cut and dry, you know, the stereotypical, you know, see what the problem is, you know, look at the book, tell them what the answer is. I would say really try to understand more of what they're trying to go through. Maybe it's actually a conceptual thing. Um, so there's a lot of layers that can go into actual tutoring somebody. So like I would say to anybody, just really try to fully put yourself in their shoes and fully be engaged in, actual, in the actual tutoring process. Let the student struggle with the problem. Let them try it first before giving help. A lot of students tend to come into math lab thinking that it's where they come in and then the tutor gives all the answers, but we're there to help and to clarify, not just to give answers away. So let the student fail at the problem if they need to, and then after that, then go help. Get out there, start tutoring, and um, rely on your uh, tutoring staff, like your lead tutor and other tutors around you. They can always help you out whenever you need help. Enjoy it. Have a lot of fun. I mean, I really look back on Math Lab and as like a nice break from my homework where I can um, teach things that I actually know. <laughs> and it's, 
it's a confidence booster in in math and um, so yeah just enjoy your time there and enjoy your time getting to know other math people take advantage of the opportunity that math lab is to serve your peers as they're coming in and come alongside them and learn together using that as an experience to be learning and growing together um, not only what can you be helping these students with in their homework, but also how can you be growing um, as a servant? How can you be growing as someone um, who is teaching others and learning about ways to work with people of different learning backgrounds, different learning styles, just using that as a time when you can really grow through that experience? Getting to know that student and getting to know what helps them effectively um, is just it's going to help you a lot. Though one of my favorite parts about Math Lab is just getting to know those students and building relationships with them, especially the people that come back over and over and over. So um, building relationships with those students, getting to know what helps them in Math Lab and what's good for them, that just really helps you become an effective and a caring tutor that um, is just like really God honoring too.